Hey guys, Josh Mabe here with MH Training, and I had a video a while back that was quite popular, and that was SIG versus Glock. Now, in that video, we talked about some things, a few different options of the guns, the comparisons, all of that. We actually shot, we compared the shooting, I ended up shooting the Glock better, and I thought I was being pretty fair. But, in the comment section, I had several people mention that they felt like I didn't give the SIG a fair shot. Uh, they said the wind was blowing when I shot the SIG versus when I shot the Glock. And, I went back looked at the footage. I still think I gave it a fair shot. But, since there was questions, we're going to do it again. I also had some comments saying that it is not comparable to compare a Glock 19 to a SIG X Macro TAC Ops. So we're gonna go over that a little bit more. But for right now, we're just going to look at the guns again and just see some of the main features of them and talk about them just a little bit. And then we're going to do some shooting. I'm gonna make sure the wind is not blowing when we shoot. And I just want to reiterate the fact, I have shot Glock a lot more than I've shot SIG. I have shot almost every model Glock that they manufacture. These mosquitoes, about sick of them. But I've shot almost every model that Glock makes. I've shot multiple guns in most of the models. And I have carried Glock for probably 10 years now, as far as my everyday carry. I've also carried it on duty at work for the last eight years. And I have never once had a failure from Glock as far as an actual gun failure. I've had ammunition failure. I've had uh, primers not work. I've had low powder charges. I've had different things like that. But I've never had something that is a gun issue. When I say a gun issue, which means have to replace a spring on a Glock. Have to replace the firing pin. Have to replace anything to do with the trigger. Uh, slide not functioning right, guide rod, anything like that. I've never had to replace a part on a Glock that I just didn't want to replace for some reason. Never had one break, never had one fail from the factory. Granted, I know it happens, but I just have not experienced it. Um, so, I am a big Glock fan, I'm not going to lie. That being said, I'm also a big SIG fan. I have shot SIG, I've shot the P320, the 226, I've shot the 365s in multiple platforms. Um, I've shot the, the Legions, I've shot the Spectre, I've shot a bunch of different SIGs. Personally, have not had an issue out of a SIG. That being said, I have never actually owned a SIG until this one. This is the 365 X Macro TAC Ops. This is the largest of the 365 family when it comes to barrel size, grip size, overall. That's why I'm comparing it to the Glock 19. A lot of people chimed in and said this is more comparable to the Glock 43, which it is kind of in the middle between the 43 and the 19, but it is closer in comparison to the 19. If you've held any of the other 365s, you will probably disagree with that statement. If you have not shot the X Macro or the X Macro TAC Ops specifically. So that's why I'm comparing it to a Glock 19. So let's go ahead and check these weapons real quick. We're going to drop the magazine. Magazine is empty. We're going to pull the slide back. Chamber is empty. We're going to drop the slide. Fire. Gun is empty. Now we're going to do the same thing with the Glock. We're going to drop the magazine. Magazine is empty. We're going to rack the slide. As you see, the chamber is empty. Slide forward, safe direction, click. Now the Glock is completely empty. Now we can do some comparison. Sorry, mosquitoes are really biting. The first thing I want to show you between the two guns is the difference in width. That is where you are going to see the main difference between these guns. Is it a lot? Not really. Slide length. It is about 
little bit, about maybe a half inch difference in slide length. Like this, quite comparable. Grip width. They are quite comparable. Glock is a little bit wider in the grip. So as you can see, they are quite comparable in size. So we can line these up. The Glock is on the back there. You see the Glock is a little bit longer when it comes to grips. Same height as the Glock. Get this moved up a little bit. Sorry, hard to hold them together there. As far as grips go, if anything, SIG has a longer grip than the Glock, but it does have that magazine well attached. It comes with that. The difference between this and the other 365s. Your basic 365 is almost the size of a pocket gun. This one is not. This one has a 17 round mag. The TAC Ops comes with four of these magazines. The X Macro is very similar in size, but if you look at the X Macro, it's got the built in compensator. It actually gets a little bit shorter barrel. This one has the solid slide, and this one has a, I believe it's a 3.1 inch barrel or 3.7. I'm going to have to pull that up. I'm going to put the specifications right here. That's the specifications on the SIG, if you want to pause it and read them all. This is the specifications on the Glock, right there, if you want to pause and read them all. Okay, so as I said, you don't have the built-in compensator, you've got the solid slide, longer barrel. It is cut for optics, it has your front serrations, it has your rear serrations, it has your accessory rail, it has your flat face trigger, has your oversized mag well. This can be removed if you don't want it, if you're afraid that it's going to print too much because it does widen it by about close to a half inch when you account each side there. So that's one thing there. I have topped it since our last video. I put a Go Wu Tar uh, red dot, or I guess I should say green dot. Let's see, where's it at? Trying to get it here. Oh, there it is. You can see the dot. Let's get it right over here. Right there it is. You can see the dot now. So this is the green dot from Go Wutar. As you can see, we went through a torture test. Chipped the metal there. Chipped a little bit of the slide on the firearm. It's all beaten, banged up top. If you look on this side, when we rammed it in the dirt with my boot, I tore off a little bit of the rubber seal. But other than that, the red dot held at zero and still shoots perfectly fine the gun held up to the torture test we tossed this thing in the air as high as i could throw it we threw it against trees slammed it against tables we racked the slide on the table we did a little bit of everything with this red dot and it's still working so i do like the go guitar stuff but anyway back to the video so there's your main features on the sig glock this is the gen 519 this has the slightly flared mag wheel. As you can see there, it does flare out a little bit from the grip. It's got your cut right here, so you can grab the magazine in case it sticks. It's got the new finish that the Gen 5s have over the Gen 4s. Granted, the Gen 5s been out for a while now, so a lot of people may not even held a Gen 4 before. But anyway, <clears throat> it's got the new barrel design from the previous barrel designs, which is nice because you can shoot uh, lead rounds through them and it doesn't foul up as much as it did with the old ones. And it's got a little bit lower profile factory sight on it. It's also got a higher undercut and the trigger guard. So it does have a few improvements over the Gen 4. Another thing the Gen 4's had was it had finger grooves. I always hated the finger grooves because my fingers always lined up on top of the groove. With the Gen 5's, I don't have that issue anymore fits my hand perfectly fine. I like that. So now, the only thing left to do is we're going to shoot these guns again. Uh, I talk, Actually, before we shoot, I want to go over one thing. If you didn't see my last video, I addressed some things early in my SIG days when I first got this gun. 
I mentioned slide finish and you had to watch out for rusting on these things and I'm going to go ahead and completely confess I fell into the crowd online screaming about the finish and just honestly just assumed people were right and knew what they're talking about I have purposely not cleaned this gun since I put this red dot on it I have not put oil on the slide I have not wiped it down this gun's been ground in the dirt thrown against trees everything you can think of done to torture testing and I have yet to see any rust on the slide so I think the finish issue with SIGs is not anything like you've heard online so i apologize for even spreading that rumor on my other videos i see nothing wrong with this finish and had no issues with it that being said i can't say the same for the magazines if y'all can see here it does have rust pitting all of the numbers are rusted down in there um, now granted most of this is flash rusting which means or i call it flash rusting i don't know what the official name for it is I call flash rust what pops up on the surface and you can actually clean off if you've got a nice little brush you shouldn't have to use steel wool or anything like that just some oil and a brush will take it off but some of this as you can see on the edge is actual pitting with rust so you do have to be careful with the magazines that finish is not that great to protect against rust so watch out with that if you have a SIG with these magazines they will rust if you don't oil them regularly and they get any kind of moisture to them now we can move on to the shooting as i said we're going to do this completely fair um matter of fact some people will consider it unfair in the sig's advantage because i've got a red dot on here i don't consider that an advantage i know that's a controversial opinion because almost everybody's put red dots on their guns and that seems to be the standard nowadays but i guess i am a little bit old-fashioned i still prefer iron sights not gonna lie I feel like I can be quicker on target with iron sights than I can this. I've got two guns now that have this type of red dot on them. And I shoot them perfectly fine. But for me personally, honestly, I'm going to keep shooting them, see if I can get the hang of it. I shoot fine with them, but I just, I like my iron sights. I just, I really do. I like three dots. I like Glock's factory sights. I've never had an issue with them. So, is it an unfair advantage to have a red dot on this one? Some will say yes, some will say no. But let's see. Let's go shoot some stuff. All right. Okay, guys. As you can see, we got the target set up there. I've got, I don't know if you can see the white paper or not. I know the GoPro kind of kind of a wide angle so it's hard to see we are at about seven yards i got two targets set up with white eight by ten sheets of paper i'm gonna fire at those first this one's going to be kind of quick shooting and we're just going to try to hit in the white paper see which one groups the best shooting fast after that i've got some over here we're going to do some transitions see which ones you can transition from target to target easier with so let's start with let's start with the sig SIG is going to be on the left target. I got 10 rounds in the mag. All right, let's give it a shot. All right, there's 10 shots with the SIG. That was with the red dot. 10 shots with the Glock. Ten shots with the Glock. Let's pick this. You know what? Let's just keep shooting first. Ten shots on paper. Five shots in the seed. Five shots in the Glock. So let's go SIG first. This time I'm gonna aim at the head on each of those targets and we're gonna see about accuracy. So I'm gonna take my time this time.
There's five shots from the SIG. Five shots with the Glock. Five shots with the Glock. Now, this time I'm going to shoot the target on the right. I got two targets on the left, two targets on the right, and that one silhouette. So I'm going to load a full mag for each. Take that back, it's not gonna be a full mag. The SIG holds 17. All right, 15 rounds in the SIG. 15 rounds in the Glock. Cause the Glock only holds 15. So yes, if you hadn't noticed yet, a little bit smaller gun in the SIG holds two extra rounds. There we go, 15 rounds in the block. So what I'm gonna do, I've got a high target and a low. I don't know if y'all can even see them on here, but it's this target on this end over here. Um, I've got two, uh, four little shoot and see targets. Got two across the top, two across the bottom. I'm gonna transition from the top one to the bottom one, top one to the bottom one, back and forth till the mag is empty. Then on the right side, I'm gonna do the Glock. So let's see how this does. Gun is empty, slide down, click. Now, 15 rounds from the Glock on the right side. Transition, top to bottom. Gun is empty, slide forward. Gun is safe. Now, let's go have a look, see, and see how we did. first thing we're going to do is we're going to look right here now this was rapid fire with the sig so we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten all ten on paper with the glock we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten all ten on paper if I put my hand out here, I can't quite reach, almost, almost reach right there from my thumb to my middle finger. On this one, I can easily reach. So I shoot a better group out of the Glock, rapid fire. Now, let's go up here and look. In the head with the SIG, we've got one, two, three, four, five all of those in about about a three inch roughly group right there with the glock one two three four five now i was a little bit more accurate on the sig group once again is about the same about three inches group might be slightly tighter with the glock but not as close to center as it was with this one. Now, let's go over here to this one. 
This is the SIG. Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and that's a double. Fifteen. So there's all fifteen shots from the SIG. Rapid fire transitioning. Got a few there pulled off with, but that's not bad. Now we'll get over here to the Glock. We've got, let's start at the bottom here. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. There's 15 rounds there. So, 16. Maybe I actually didn't leave. I may have accidentally loaded uh, 16 rounds. May have pushed it down a little tight. But either way, the way it pans out, rapid fire on the white paper, Glock one. Slow fire on the headshots there. I would say group a little bit tighter with the Glock, but accuracy wise, I hit a little bit closer to center there. When it comes over here to the rapid fire transition, obviously the SIG held a much tighter pattern there. So you see in the last video, the Glock was superior. In this video, it seems that the SIG shot better. Now my conclusion to that is, just like I said in the first video that everybody neglected to listen to. I do not think one gun is better than the other. I think they are on par with each other when it comes to accuracy and shooting, probably even reliability, but I just like my Glock more. So you cannot go wrong with either one of these guns. So if you get a chance to shoot a SIG, give it a try. I think you'll like it. I enjoy mine. I still don't like the trigger in the SIG though. The trigger in the SIG I do not like at all, but uh, today, Looks like the SIG one overall. Last time the Glock one overall. If I shot this whole thing again tomorrow, it would probably go back and forth because they are so similar and they're both high quality firearms that you cannot go wrong with. I cannot pick one over the other. As far as accuracy, shooting, it is all in the shooter. You're going to shoot one gun better, you're gonna shoot another gun better. It just depends on you. So I appreciate y'all watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Y'all have a wonderful day, and I will see you on the range.